Hi, my name is Vivian Gemian, Licensed Professional Counselor. My private practice is located in Newfoundland, New Jersey. Thanks again to the Tuxedo Park for this opportunity to speak with you. Um, how's everyone doing? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're uh, navigating through this with the least amount of anxiety. I know it's difficult, very difficult, which is why we're going to talk about some specific coping skills today. But remember, last week we talked about some general things to do, and that would be get outside, get some exercise, get some vitamin D on the sunny days, um, keeping in touch with friends and family uh, creatively through the technology that is at our, our disposal, finding a rhythm and routine in the home. Uh, that helps so tremendously. Maybe some distractions such as listening to music, uh, watching your favorite show, reading a book, things maybe you didn't have time to do before, but now you have a little bit of extra time. Uh, personal downtimes is so important. Maybe a shower, a long shower can be relaxing for you. Uh, if you haven't listened to last week's talk, maybe you'd want to take a cup of tea, cup of coffee and sit down and relax. Okay. The main objective, of course, is for us to remain safe and well. Uh, today I'm going to explain several quite easy coping skills for you to try when stressed, overwhelmed, or anxious. Um, and maybe even lonely, because loneliness is so very prevalent now uh, due to not being able to see family, not being able to see friends. And, and that's so hard. I'm missing my grandchildren. Yes, so very hard. Uh, the main objective is to find a calm place within our own self during this, this very unprecedented time. Um, you know, as I mentioned last week, many of us are very overwhelmed juggling our new responsibilities. Okay, what kind of hats do we wear? Uh, the office has become, excuse me, the home has become an office. It's become a classroom, maybe a dance studio, maybe an art studio, maybe a karate studio. And of course, it is the restaurant, just to name a few. Being pulled in so many directions has a price. And what do we say? I am exhausted. I'm overwhelmed. I am so stressed. I wish I could get a massage and I wish I could have my friends over. And you know, this is so understandable as we navigate through the day wearing those many hats. So what can we do to ease those feelings of stress? The ease and lessen the anxiety. Take away some of those negative feelings. First, we need to recognize for what it is, okay? We have to be aware, yes. Where is this coming from? We know, right? We're thrust into something very different. Recognize the anxiety, the worry, the loneliness. But remember, it's only temporary. This will not go into perpetuity. Oh, I love that word, perpetuity. This will not go on forever. Try to keep that word temporary in your mind. That being said, I imagine many of you are wondering, when will this be over? You know, that answer is not clear at this present moment. So we need to put these coping skills into practice. Let's take a look at them, okay? The first one is deep breathing. Now, I suggest, many different ways of deep breathing. One way is 7-11, okay? Seven seconds, inhaled through the nose, holding for maybe three, four seconds, and then 11 seconds, exhaled through the mouth. Some people find that a little bit difficult. 11 seconds is longer than you think. Uh, another method is the 4-7-8 method, okay? That would be four seconds, inhaled through the nose, hold for seven seconds, Exhale through the mouth for eight seconds. Um, deep breathing can be very, very uh, helpful as studies have shown that it actually does increase the supply of oxygen to our brain. 
and it stimulates part of the nervous system, which then in turn promotes feelings of calmness. This is really great. So I encourage you to try deep breathing. Keep in your mind that word relax, deep breathing, and try and see if it works for you. Okay, uh, the next one is, oh, one more thing about the deep breathing. Uh, for some people it works one time, others have to do it several times, but don't do it to the point of hyperventilating. It's meant to calm you down <clears throat> and help you regroup, okay? So just uh, do it to the point of calmness. <clears throat> Excuse me. The next technique is muscle, relax relax muscle relaxation. Okay, so you start at the neck, go all the way down to your feet. You tighten up each muscle group um, and then release that tension. I'll demonstrate through the hand, okay? You're, you're tightening up your hand. You're making it very tense. You're holding it. You hold that tenseness and you feel it. You feel it here. You feel it down here. Then you gradually let out that tension and you can actually feel that tension coming out, okay? Do that for each muscle group, starting, as I said, from the neck down to your feet. Some people find that doing this technique at bedtime is very calming and it, it could help them relax to get to sleep, okay? So you can try that. Now, there's one that I tell my young children and it's it <laughs> helps them to release some of their tension, but it also helps them to forget exactly what was making them tense and upset. So what this is, is having them stand, reach, reach, reach for the ceiling very distinctly on their tiptoes, okay? So it's a little bit harder than you think to balance. So they're reaching, reaching, reaching on their tiptoes and oh, for a few seconds, then what they do is bend at the waist, let their arms hang, their head is hanging down, shaking their arms to get that tension out, okay? And many of the kids find it hysterical that they even forget what was making them upset. So this seems to work, work very well with the kids. Um, the next one that works with a lot of people is using our five senses, okay? So it's taking into account Maybe five things you see, four things you hear, three, three things you smell, two things you feel, and one thing you taste. You do not have to do it in that order, but you want to cover all your senses. So what you would do is, for instance, five things I see. All right, so if I look around my area here, I see um, a gray and green stapler. It has a lot of little... Uh, dots on it of different colors. Mm, I also see a picture of uh, my parents when they were younger. Uh, I see an angel hanging on the wall. I see a plant, a green plant. It looks pretty healthy because it's wax. <laughs> um, I see wallpaper. So we want to focus. We want to focus on our senses. And what that does is it helps us to forget, not forget, but put aside what has been bothering us so we can calm down and maybe um, revisit the issue at a later time when we are calm. So the main thing is to refocus, refocus our thinking. Okay, so lastly, the traffic light. Okay, so red, yellow, green. Red means what? Stop. We may be able to stop by just thinking it, or we may have to say it. Stop. Uh, stop what? Stop what might come out of our mouth, which we maybe shouldn't have said in the first place. Stop what we're thinking so we can think more rationally. Okay, so when we are at that point of stop, the next is the yellow calm down. Maybe it's time to take a breath. Calm down. Think. Maybe it's time to count. 
one to 10, one to 20, so we can calm down. Uh, this is this part is calm down. I have to calm down. I have to bring it down. Um, and once we're calm and our mindset is more in a positive place, a more rational place, we can go on to the green. Uh, green means what? Go. So we can go and then visit what the issue was in a more rational way, in a calmer way. Um, this works very well for young children and for adults. So it's something to keep in our mind, that traffic light, because uh, when we think of the traffic light, the first thing we think of is stop. So we can stop in our tracks before it gets out of hand. So I hope these skills are something you might want to incorporate into your uh, life when, when needed. Uh, when you're feeling overwhelmed, when you're feeling stressed. Now, uh, just in closing, I found an interactive website online that could be fun for kids to do with their grandparents um, who are at their home to keep them all connected. You might want to check it out. It's readeokids.com slash bookcheck. Some of you may have seen this already, um, but it looks quite interesting. R-E-A-D-E-O-K-I-D-S dot com forward slash book chat. Okay, now um, we're still in the midst of this COVID-19 and I encourage you to get for the most up to date and accurate information to visit the CDC website. Uh, that's where you can see um, uh, just what's going on in the latest and the latest uh, things that uh, they have found out. Okay. I wish you all a safe week. I wish you a great week. Um, stay healthy and continue to practice the safety measures which the CDC has outlined. Have a good one. We'll see you next time. Bye.